somewhat forgotten classic sees the excellence of execution using every last trick in his repertoire to pull out the victory over Roddy Piper. And WrestleMania 8 sees a rare pinfall loss for Hot Rod, but an even rarer display of professionalism from him makes the moment all the more memorable. Up next on this WrestleMania train down memory lane, we go to WrestleMania 10 in New York City and the first ladder match to ever take place at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels captured his first Intercontinental Championship with a big win over the British Bulldog on Saturday night's main event in the fall of 1992. But in the fall of 1993, Michaels would be stripped of the championship due to inactivity. As the heartbreak kid watched from the sidelines, Razor Ramon would capture the vacant championship. At the 1993 Survivor Series, Michaels would announce that he was back and that he only had one mission, to humiliate Razor Ramon, who he considered to be a fake champion. Having never been defeated in the ring, HBK still believed he was the rightful Intercontinental Champion. There is only one undisputed Intercontinental Champion, and it is the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Never one to back down from a fight, Ramon was more than ready to face Michaels anytime, any place. But Sean wanted to play games with the bad guy, interfering in his matches and even performing Ramon's vaunted razor's edge finisher to taunt him. Sean was also very open about relying on his seven foot monster of a bodyguard, Diesel, to help him get through any tough situations. WWE officials forced with figuring out how to decide who the true Intercontinental Champion was, came to a decision. Both championship titles would be suspended above the ring in a ladder match. The winner would be the first superstar able to incapacitate their opponent long enough to climb the ladder, grab both championships, and finally settle the issue once and for all. This matchup would see both men use everything they could to stop the other, including the ladder, repeatedly. It was used as a battering ram, even as a perch from which to dive for a huge splash. Both Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels laid it all on the line in this epic clash, leaving everyone breathless with each new flurry of offense. So, you're gonna have to do your best to deal with not only a Mr. WrestleMania who wants his Intercontinental Championship, but also with the menacing Diesel at ringside. Stay focused, and maybe you'll be oozing enough machismo to climb that ladder of success. Razor Ramon was looking to prove that despite never defeating, a flying with a huge right hand. Ramon floors Michaels, and now with Diesel banned from ringside, it looks like the heartbreak kid needs a new plan for the bad guy.
Heading into this match, a lot of people now had a weak point. Michaels crashes that ladder right into the ribs of Ramon, and he has completely turned the tide of this match. You could see it on the faces of Razor's fans, who sat in disbelief as Sean took control. to get to his knees and topple the ladder over. Shawn Michaels could see the match starting to slip away, but instead of panicking, he'd look for on to the downed Ramon. It was now or never for Razor Ramon as his grasp on the Intercontinental Championship appeared to be slipping.